Hey guys! So today I'm actually going to do that Dear Me video that I've been seeing um, around YouTube. And in addition to the Dear Me, it's just kind of going to be an intro to who I am because I don't actually okay, have an so intro video. Starting off with the Dear Me, um, I just kind of, I have notes here. So I'm just going to kind of go through my different points and talk about some things that I wish I knew when I was younger. And I'm not going to go like super younger to when I was like 8 or 9. I'll probably just think of some things to tell myself when I was in high school because high school was um, I guess on the outside like if you were like a friend of mine or something you probably wouldn't think that high school was that difficult for me but like internally it was really kind of hard so I'm just gonna give my former self not my former self I'm still me my younger self some advice that would have probably helped me make it through high school successfully so first on my list is obviously focus on school more because I was always first of all I'm generally really nosy so I was like always in the middle of someone else's drama I'm like the mediator so I need to know what's going on and who said this and I was you know just all in the crowd um always hanging out I ditched a few times shh don't tell my mom but I really wished that I would have studied like now looking back on it how I barely graduated high school I mean like guys I was skimming by I didn't study didn't read the assigned books spark notes was like my best friend uh, I didn't cheat like you know cheating off other people and stuff that's just ridiculous and I feel like cheating on off of someone else's paper is not necessarily the best thing cuz what if they don't know what they're doing either? Then you're just cheating and you're both going to fail. So I didn't cheat, but I didn't necessarily try either. So, like, I just kind of sat in class. And I always had class with a bunch of my friends. So I would always purposely pick the seat right in the middle of the group. And then I just talk, talk, talk. Or I'm on the phone or, like, doodling in my notebook. I don't know. Just anything under the sun that was not studying, not paying attention. It was bad. But, sorry, my neighbor, like, keeps walking past my door. I don't know why. But, yeah, so, first thing I would tell myself is focus on school. And, I mean, like, towards the end, it just got really dramatic. My friends were always fighting. I lost a bunch of friends that, like, torpedoed me into, like, this sad place. So, my senior year, I wasn't really having as much fun as it probably looked like I was having. Because, behind the scenes, I was like, oh, this person's not my friend anymore. Oh, my God, this guy said or did this to me and I was just all over the place and I wish I would have really just been there for school um hold on I think my daughter might be coming just let me see yeah so like most people I'm sure that I said stay focused on school next was stay true to myself because um like who I was in high school I don't know I felt like I was trying to fit in all the time like, I don't know, I tried to dress like everybody else. I tried to wear makeup to school like every single day. And let me tell you, that did not last because waking up at 6 in the morning on a regular day doing no makeup is hard. Waking up at like 5.30 to do full face makeup, not going to happen. So, um, in addition to the makeup and like the clothes, I was always like going places that I normally wouldn't go like over to people's houses and they have like a bunch of people over from school it, it's really uncomfortable for me in like real life to hang around a bunch of people that I really don't know like I'd go to my friend's house and she'd invite like five or six other people that she knew from our school but I didn't necessarily know those people so it's kind of uncomfortable and everybody's like chatting and laughing and I'm kind of just sitting here like hmm well, I really wish that I kind of would have just stayed true to who I am and just kind of 
I'm kind of a nerd, uh, not in like the school sense, I'm like a loner in the sense that I really don't like to be around too many people, like I'm very selective who I hang out with, so, well, now I am, um, in high school I wish I would have been more selective, I was hanging out with some crazy people, you guys, so, um, now that I'm older I would definitely tell myself, be more picky about who you are hanging around and stay true to yourself. Don't try to act like the rest of the crowd, as my cousins would call it. Don't be a follower. So, yeah, I really wish I wouldn't have done that. I don't know. I just, I, I guess I watched too many movies and I didn't want to be, like, the new kid. You know, I don't know. But uh, the next thing I have is... You will find your voice, most definitely. When I was in high school, I was just like, who am I? What am I doing? I'm not good at anything. Oh, this sucks. Like, I was always just doubting myself, and um, I never really let my creative side show, if that makes sense. I was just kind of like, eh. So I really wish I could tell myself my then self to don't worry about it don't worry about it school is for school you will find your your inner Brianna <laughs> um, on your own later on because now I'm first of all in high school I was really bad at like speaking so I have a tendency to like shake and my face would turn red which is really funny if you've never seen a black person turn bright red Put me in front of a bunch of people in high school and make me do a report. I will turn red as a tomato and I would like sweat and shake. It was just really bad. So now I'm glad that I'm finally grown into my own voice. I let my creative I let my creativity shine. I love doing my little DIYs, which I will have for you guys um up on my channel in a few days, maybe next week. But I love doing DIYs. I like experimenting with my makeup now. And as you can see, I have went back and embraced my natural hair. In high school, I had a perm. I always had a perm. I wanted to have straight hair like the rest of the girls. You know, that goes back to the whole fitting it, trying to fit in. And it not really working necessarily. I had like a cool group of friends. And that was pretty much it. Like, I didn't fit in with the cool kids. I'm sure they laughed at me um, when I wasn't around. But, yeah, I just want to tell myself that you will be okay. Worrying about who am I, where am I going, what am I going to do with the rest of my life, that is so not important when you are in the 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. That is not important. Finding out who you are going to be is not going to happen in high school. Unless you are one of those really lucky and talented people and you can, like, sing and dance your ass off. Excuse me. Sing and dance your butt off and somebody, like, picks you up and you're, like, famous. That's the only way I feel like in high school you just know who you are. But I really want to tell myself, don't worry about it, because you, you're going to be amazing. Even if, like, even now, at 23, I'm not necessarily the person I want to be for the rest of my life. I am definitely not the person I was in high school, and I am amazing myself every day, and that is all that matters. So just don't worry about it. Um... Oh, I'm trying not to cry during this video because some of the things I'm going to say to myself are probably going to be a little emotional. And I can feel it coming. I feel it. You know how you just feel it right there. So I feel it. The next thing on my list was love you for all that you are, which goes back to me being able to find my own voice. But kind of more so that when I was in the 11th grade, I had a boyfriend who would always tell me, Oh, you shouldn't eat that, or, oh, you want to, you want to, like, go exercise, or let's go to the school gym, you know, just different, it was basically like he was telling me, you're too fat, oh, my mom's calling me, I love her to death, but I'm not going to answer that right now, um, yeah, I actually had him at one point tell me that I was fat, and that I ate too much, and 
all this kind of stuff and it just I mean like the next day I went to school and I was crying and there's probably only like maybe a handful of people that actually remember the day that I was just boo hooing and I don't want to name those people because some of them we aren't really friends anymore but at the time like I really appreciated them they comforted me kind of formed a circle around me so nobody else saw me crying at school and um, it was just really I don't know it was really hard so loving me for who I am and all of my chunky thighs and my big arms and just just everything I am glad that I didn't, well, I, at the time I did, I like went on a diet, I was really skinny, I got to like a size 6, and I've always been like a chunky kid, so I've always been like 11, 12 size, um, oh mom, she left me a message, but I got to the point where I wasn't eating, I didn't eat for like 2 weeks, uh, I just, I don't know, I wasn't, I went through this really bad phase, and I lost a lot of weight, and I thought that I was happy, but I was really hungry, and I wanted to eat, and I just was like, no, because if I eat, then I'm going to get fat, and you know what, now it's just like, screw it, I'm going to eat, I love food, I try not to pig out, and my boyfriend will probably disagree, but I, I try not to eat a lot of junk, even though lately I've been feeling it, I've been feeling myself eating a lot of crap that I really should not eat. So, I'm going to try to be better with that. But, yeah, I love me now. Like, I love my pie face. When I was little, people used to call me, well, my cousins, they used to call me Fat Nose Pig. And as you can see, my nose is really not that big. Like, it took me a while to get used to it. But as a kid, they used to call me Fat Nose Pig. Um, I used to be called Pie Face in school, like, when I smile. See, my face is really round and chunky because I have really big cheeks. These cheeks were inherited by my daughter, and she is gorgeous. So, looking at her and having her there makes me remember that I need to love me for me. Because what kind of message would I be sending if I didn't like me? And I'd just be passing that on to her. And I want her to love her for everything that she is, because my baby is fabulous. She has the most beautiful hair and the most beautiful cheeks, and I love her to death, and I love her to pieces, and I just want her to love every piece of herself. So as an adult and as a mom, now that I know it's really important for me to love me inside and out, everything that's going on, love it all. And that was also part of the reason that I cut my hair, because I wanted to get back to um, my natural state. Well, obviously not that natural because I dyed it. As you guys can see, it's like a light brown. But other than that, my hair is all natural and I don't dye it. These crazy things, I don't not eat. Um, I'm just kind of embracing myself. And I know that I'll never be like a size 4 and that's fine. Uh, I do, however, need to really start exercising. Oh, excuse me. Um, I'm going to start exercising because I do want to be healthy. But I don't necessarily aim for skinny anymore, if that makes sense. Like, I just want to be me and be comfortable, you know? So, yeah, I would tell myself, just love who you are, don't change it. Um, because when you get older, it'll be really important that you have that self-love. And... Don't have a dirty mind, guys. Self-love is loving yourself from the inside out. Because I know some of you were like, mm, self-love. No. No. So, the next thing is don't label yourself and don't let others label you. And this is the part that might make me cry. And this is actually going to be the end of my video because I see that it is running super long. So... Um, as far as not labeling myself, when I first got to high school, I don't know why it didn't affect me so much in middle school and elementary, but when I got to high school, I felt like the disabled kid, you know? Uh, well, you probably don't know because I haven't, um, put up a video about it, but I do have cerebral palsy and, what is, what is it called? Oh my god, I can't think of it right now. Okay, when the other 
medical term for what I have comes, oh, sickle cell, there it is, I was like, I know the word, it's just not coming out, so everyone knows that our blood cells are round, not really, that's not really round, but yeah, round like this, and they kind of just flow along, well, mine actually shape like crescent moons, and they hook to each other like this, and they sometimes block passageways, which can cause pain in my legs or wherever the blockage may be. And that is sickle cell. Um, I've had it all my life. And as an adult now, I don't even care. Like, I climb stairs. I go to the park. I walk. I can hike. And all of these different things. Sorry, slight camera malfunction. That was weird. But yeah, I hike in all these different these different things. And if you know what cerebral palsy is, um, it's a medical. It's like a birth defect that I got when I was born, and it gives me a crouch gait. And I think Robin Lambert, if I'm saying her name correctly, at um, a T Rex Life on YouTube. Her channel is a T Rex Life. Um, she describes it best. We walk like a T-Rex. Our legs are constantly bent. Even if I stood as straight as possible, my legs would not look like the average person. So this makes me appear quite tiny that I have a crouch gait so my legs are bent. So I'm really short to other people. Uh, I am 4'8". Four, 4 inches. Bleh, 4 feet 8 inches. And to the average person, I probably look about four, six, four, five because of my crouch gait. So there's that. And I always just felt like the disabled kid. I never wanted to walk past big crowds. I hate even sometimes even now I feel a little subconscious walking through like a big crowd of people. Um, I fell at school once and I just wanted to go home. I felt like I could die. Like I fell not like a normal person fall, I fell, and then my walker fell on top of me. So it was like double the embarrassment, if that makes sense. I don't know. I just, and I feel like people see me as the crippled kid. And I, in my mind, am in no way crippled. I do what the average person does. Okay, maybe I don't take like martial arts. But, and I'm too short to play basketball, obviously. But everything else I do, I'm a mom. I cook and clean. Um, I took care of a baby for <laughs> a year, and now I'm taking care of my toddler. I went through a normal pregnancy, so everything is normal except for my outer appearance in my legs. Like, if I sat down on a bus, you could not tell that I was disabled. I've actually gotten yelled at for sitting in the blue handicap seat when my walker was folded up and it was like under the seat so you couldn't really see it and then I was sitting there and this lady like she went off on me you're disrespectful and that seat is reserved for disabled people and you are not disabled you need to give up their seat for that elderly woman and I was just like don't freak out because I am I do have a disability um I don't like to kind of throw that at people if I can I try to avoid it obviously you'll notice when you see me walking I have this big silver walker and it goes with me everywhere because that is how I get around it helps with my balance I have really poor balance so it has handlebars on both sides um that allow me to walk so obviously if you see me in public you'll notice but if you catch me sitting down you probably think I'm just a normal girl um yeah, so please don't yell at me in public. It's really embarrassing and sad. So I just feel like I shouldn't have labeled myself that. Don't be a victim. I, I would tell myself don't be a victim. Oh, sorry, there's a fly on my screen. Um, because, I don't know, other people already view me as the victim. So telling myself that was not helpful i would tell myself be you be crazy don't let your walker like limit you don't care what other people think if they call you the disabled girl the girl who can't walk right you know that retarded girl excuse me for using the word retarded but yes that is what people would call me and i'm sure they're like oh how'd you find out oh i know people would snicker at me um, it's really sad, but I would tell myself, don't care about them in 
What is it now? I've been out of high school for six years. In six years' time, you won't remember those people's names. They do not matter. They suck. So, to all you people who made fun of me in high school, you suck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for making me who I am. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I would not have the I don't care what people think about me attitude. I really don't care. Like, it was so frustrating um, being that sad and being that depressed in high school that now I just, I don't care. I don't have the time to worry about other people's opinions. So I wish I would have known that when I was younger. And since my daughter is nudging me over here to my left, I am going to end this video. And I love you guys. Thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you again here, of course, on Saturday. Bye, guys.